Hey, we're back. The first seven of Henry Fayol's 14 principles primarily focused on the organizational structure and management practices within an organization. So let's talk about the next seven management principles according to Henry Fayol. Number eight, centralization. This refers to the degree to which decision-making authority is concentrated within an organization. This is different from authority, which we spoke about earlier as part of the first seven. Authority is about responsibility for certain functions, but centralization is about having centralized decision-making uh, within an, the overall structure of the organization. Principle number two, scalar chain. This principle emphasizes the formal chain of authority within an organization. Let's say picture a manufacturing company where instructions flow from top management to supervisors and then to workers. This chain ensures clear communication and also minimizes errors. Alongside this principle is principle number 10, order. Order involves having a specific place for everything and everyone within an organization. In an office setting, for example, organizing files system systematically or implementing a clear reporting structure exemplifies this principle. According to Fayol, this helps reduce confusion and enhances productivity. Number, so where are we already? One, two, three, seven, eight. Principle number 11 is about e equity. This focuses on fairness and impartiality in the treatment of employees. Quite sensational if you ask me because this was the 1800s, remember, and that was unheard of during Fayol's time. And yet he came up with this principle. Next is stability of tenure. Stability of tenure emphasizes the importance of retaining employees. A company implementing policies to reduce turnover and invest in employee development demonstrates this principle, leading to a stable workforce and increased productivity. Principle number 13 is about encouraging employees to take initiative that's actually done the name of the principal initiative and uh, propose innovative ideas to help foster a culture of creativity within the organization. And finally, the 14th principle according to Henry Fayol is esprit de corps. And this principle focuses on fostering team spirit and unity among employees. A team that values teamwork and mutual support among players exemplifies this principle, thus leading to collective success. Notice that these principles touch upon various aspects of organizational dynamics, emphasizing the importance of communication, fairness, stability, innovation, and teamwork within an organization. Different from the first seven that concentrated on establishing a foundation for effective management practices. These principles, when put together, make a big picture that's crucial for managers and organizations to work smoothly. It is when we use all these principles together that things really click. They're like pieces of a puzzle that fit perfectly, making the whole organization stronger. So it's not about knowing each principle, it's about using them together. That's, that's what helps managers handle challenges and keep teams moving forward towards success. When all these principles work together, they build a strong foundation for managers and organizations to do their best. So what I'd like you to do is take a moment to reflect on how these principles resonate with your own experiences. Are there areas where your organizations excel in terms of these 14 principles or are there opportunities for improvement? I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to stay tuned for more discussions and practical tips on management practices do hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to join me in this journey of continuous learning and growth in the world of management. Thank you for being part of today's episode and until next time, keep leading, keep learning, and keep thriving. Take care and high five.